Hey guys, this is Steve with Tronix Fix. Today it's time to put our Nintendo Switch dock under the screwdriver to see what's inside. So the first thing we need to do is to remove the eight tri-wing screws located inside of this flap. Now the screws located up here are a little bit longer than the screws located down here, so you'll want to keep those separated. After we get those screws removed, this will simply lift out. In here we have the guts of the system. We've got several chips located right here, and we will remove this next and show you the other side so you can see all the connectors. To do that, we need to remove this ribbon cable and then we'll lift out. We've got two snaps right here that hold it onto the case. So we'll pull that one back gently and pull that one. Now don't pull up too hard on this as there is still one connection on the back and we'll use a small pair of needle nose pliers to remove that connection. And be sure not to pull on the connector that connects to the board, just the connector for these two wires right here. So we will grab it, wiggle it gently as we pull up and there we have it. So here we have the main board for the Nintendo Switch dock. We've got two USB connectors right here. We have a HDMI connector and then one more USB connector right here. And then on the back side, of course, we do have the main chips as well as the main connector for the dock. So that's the main guts of the dock, but we do want to remove this part of the case so I can show you the mechanism that you push the Nintendo Switch down into when you install it into the dock. These screws are all Phillips screws, and there are some that are recessed quite a ways into the dock itself. So we're gonna use a Phillips screwdriver that's got a long shaft on it, and this is a Phillips double zero. And there we have the last screw, and these screws are all the same size, so you don't have to worry about getting them mixed up. Now the dock will come apart. We just have to pull very gently on it like this. Make sure this ribbon cable doesn't get caught up in there. And then we can see the inside and the dock connector on the inside of it. As you can see, there's a mechanism right in here, a sensor that tells when the dock is connected. When it pushes down on this, you can see it pushes down and makes that connection so that the dock does know that it's connected and to send the signal out through the TV. We also do have this ribbon cable, which attaches to the USB connection inside the dock itself. And then we also do have this connector, which is for the LED indicator right on the side of the dock. So that's pretty much all there is to the Nintendo Switch dock. Now we'll go ahead and put it all back together. The first thing we need to do is get this ribbon cable inside the other part of the dock to make sure that it goes in correctly and then we'll push the two pieces together. So you can see there's a hole right down here for the one ribbon cable and then a hole right down here for the other two wires. Now that those are mostly connected, we're gonna pull them through just a little bit more as we push the dock connector together to make sure that they do go together completely. And there we have it, it's now together. Now we'll install the screws that hold it all together on this side. Now that those nine screws are installed and everything is nice and tight, we're gonna install the motherboard back onto the dock. As you remember, this connector goes on the bottom side and then we flip it over and the ribbon cable goes on this connector. Now that that ribbon cable is installed and snapped down into its lock, we're going to angle this motherboard to get it to go all the way in, just like that and then it's fully installed. Now we just need to install the side of the dock. And this we just lower down onto the dock and make sure it's fully seated and then we need to just install the screws. And there we have it, the dock connector is now back together. So that's the Nintendo Switch dock. There's really not much to it. It's pretty simple. Hopefully it's gonna last a long time. If you break yours, just contact us at tronixfix.com and we can help you out with it. Thanks for spending part of your day with me. Please give this video a thumbs up if you like it and subscribe if you'd like to see more. 